In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create 300 DPI images using Canva. Now, this is fairly easy to do, but nonetheless, near the end of the video, I am also going to share with you a completely different method. Now, to get this as a 300 DPI, when we go to download, we simply want to come to share. Then we're going to come to download. Now, with a PNG, what we want to do is increase this size. So currently it's 2,500 by 2,500. If we download this, let's just give this a second. There we go. Now, if we actually open this file like this, let's just make this a little bit smaller really quick, like so. Let's put this here. Now, if we go to inspector just here, we can see that this is only 96 DPI. So nowhere near that 300. But if we just come off here and come back to download, so we're going to click on download, back to this PNG. If we now increase this file size, so let's go with roundabout here, 5,000 by 5,000 or file size number two. Now, if we click download, then if we take a look at the DPI, let's just give that a second. Let's open this up. There we go. So now if we check out inspector and come down to this, this is now 192. So you can see that we can slowly increase this. So if we now come back to share, download, and let's put this all the way up. Let's do it to the highest it can go. So it's going to be a really big file size. But now if we click download, then open the file and check out the inspector, we can see this is now 300 DPI. Now, one thing to quickly note about doing it this way is that depending on your dimensions of your image will depend on how much you increase that size. So sometimes depending on your image dimensions, you might not have to go all the way up to its highest, but that's how you can do it with a PNG. Now, if we come on to JPEG, let's come to JPEG just here. This is actually a pro feature, as we can see, because it has the little crown icon underneath, but it's going to be the same for this. So if we decrease this back down to one, like so, and then click download, then click on the image, make smaller, come to inspector, we can see this is only 96 DPI. So again, if we now come over here, come to download, go to JPEG, make sure that's all the way up. Then if we click download and open the file, check the inspector, we can see that's now 300 DPI. So that's how you can easily do it in Canva. Now, I really wish that when we go to download over here, that there was just a little section where we could type in the DPI that we want. So if Canva, if you're listening, please make this feature. Now, if you don't want to change your DPI like this, we can easily use this website just here, and it's called Clidio.com. Now, what I'll do is link this site down in the description below, because with this, this makes it super easy to change any image to any DPI. So what we're going to do is just choose our file by taking that, then we're going to drag it onto the page like so, it's going to upload, it's going to take a few seconds. We can then choose the DPI that we want from 72, 100, 150, 200, 300, 600 and custom. For this example, we're just going to click on 300. We're going to click continue. It's going to take a few seconds to do its thing like so. And now we can click download. And if we now check this out and just make this smaller, go to the inspector, we can see 300 DPI just here. So that's how you can easily create 300 DPI images using Canva. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like as it does really help out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, then click right here and watch this playlist.